Pavilion uh, is focused very much on the expo theme of the living ocean and the coast. Australia being an island continent surrounded by water, preservation and the future use and management of the oceans uh, is a very important message that we are trying to communicate. Um, Australia sees that it is a joint responsibility so there's a role for many many nations to play and that's why it's particularly important that we are here at this expo with so many other countries. The Australian Pavilion um, we're trying to create a balance of a very serious message about the necessity for ocean preservation, but we're also trying to provide an opportunity for fun. And so our Act 1 uh, reflects the Australian Indigenous relationship with the ocean from 50,000 years ago. Act 2 um, promotes the necessity to preserve the oceans and also looks at opportunities for clean energy, um, the use of alternatives to uh, fossil fuels, and then Act 3 is an opportunity for fun, and that's the relationship of Australians with the life uh, style of uh, interacting with the oceans in a, a recreational environment. The Great Barrier Reef uh, is unique to Australia. It extends for about 2,300 kilometres, and it is the only living element on Earth that is visible from space. Um, it is important for Australia's uh, tourism industry, and so therefore the careful management, uh, we have very strict guidelines and the ecotourism elements associated with the Great Barrier Reef. Through our pavilion, um, we have a unique opportunity for people to participate in a live interactive um, question and answer section with a diver who's currently or swimming in real time on the reef. That's available every day from 2.30, so we have three shows per day and it's particularly educational uh, and we think a, a great opportunity for younger children and a very different expo experience that's not available at any other pavilions. The content of the pavilion, it's all about water and water management, uh, how we live with water, fight against water, how we gain uh, also economic value from water and um, uh, also how the water is involved in daily lives um, and it's always surrounded uh, by water. Uh, we want to, to present something of the past. The Netherlands, as you know, is for a great part of the Netherlands is laying below below the sea level. I think one third, one fourth, quarter to one third of the, the country is below sea level. And how do we deal with water? But it's very important because of the changing climate, the level of sea is rising. Uh, that's one big issue and a problem, perhaps. Uh, but another thing is how we deal with drinking water, for instance. Um, the water quality of drinking water is, uh, is poor and how, how, how do we sustain uh, the water management and that's the message we want to deliver from the present uh, and of course the future. What are the innovative uh, ways to, uh, to deal with that and um, what is our thought of dealing with water in, in the future and I think that there can be a connection made between the Netherlands and Korea uh, because also uh, Korea is it's, it's a very uh, tiny country surrounded by uh, seawater and it's of course it's a peninsula so uh, we also struggle with uh, with the drinking water problem I think and uh, uh, we might uh, help each other uh, in, um, in uh, the water management development. In the global situation that we're in right now uh, we're sharing information very fast and uh, 
that's one part. But the second part is that we have had to deal with water for many, many centuries. And um, Koreans tend to go up to the mountains uh, and not uh, become uh, seafarers. So they don't have really the connection with water from a historical point of view. We from the Netherlands, we do have that perspective. We always uh, went abroad uh, by, uh, by uh, like Wouter Hamel, All right? It's a kind of a cliche, but uh, he, was also, he was also a seafarer. And uh, uh, the, the two small countries uh, can, uh, can, can learn from, uh, from each other. Uh, it's a huge map, an unfolded map, where, we, where you can see the Netherlands from above and you're literally standing on the map, like you're standing uh, on top of the Netherlands and you're surrounded by, by, by water and uh, uh, I think that's, that's, that's a huge attraction.